Uh, in tonight's game, I thought defensively uh, we played much better uh, than what we did up at Boise. Uh, I thought we took some things away that we wanted to. And to Boise State's credit, I think the game came down to which team was going to be the one to make threes to first. Uh, Boise State was 0 for 7 in the first half. We were 2 for 12. And to come out in the third quarter, and I think they hit four in a row. And that really got us behind. And then you saw the doubt creep into this team. And then I thought the play right at the end of the third quarter, we're down four. We turn the ball over with nine seconds to go. They get a basket to go up six. And it seemed the momentum really swung that way. But uh, you're not going to win many games when you go one for five from the free throw line and you go four for 21 from three, uh, specifically at home. Uh, Boise State zone is long. It's active. They uh, had a number of deflections. And then they would turn it into a man after about three passes. And so there were some things that created some issues for us. And uh, But we have to just shoot the basketball better. We defended well enough to win a game. We just didn't score enough points. Was that kind of, in that third quarter, maybe the, the worst case scenario with them just bombing away early? And then they get, like you said, they get they get momentum and maybe a little doubt creeps in. Yeah, I, it, we worried about that the whole time. And I will continue to worry about mm -hmm. that as we finish out the season. Is one of the things is what happens when a little doubt comes in. And before we were always able to go to live, who could just calm things down, solidify things for us. And so for tonight, anytime you make a change this late in the year, uh, you can see the impact that it does have. Everyone believes it. uh, it's just next person up and you'll step in. But it was different for Taylor to start tonight. Mm -hmm. And I think she had some nerves playing tonight. It was also different that we went to our bench a little more uh, because of foul trouble and to try to rest people. And I think when you have those situations happen, uh, it's a little tougher than what all of us want it to be. I guess, is that kind of maybe the other worst case thing that happened tonight, the foul trouble? I mean, that's yeah. something you just can't We yeah. we, we talked as a staff um, this week is that we're down a person that plays the majority of minutes, the most minutes on this team. And so we can make some adjustments to make up for her minutes. But where are we going to go when we're in foul trouble? And you never know when foul trouble hits. And so we knew also that Rika would have to play. Uh, we went with Tiana tonight. That may change from week to week. It's going to see how practice goes, what the matchups are like. And, you know, and I also thought Marlia did a good job. But I thought, you know, for Natalie to get two early fouls on offensive rebounding, I couldn't think of the last time she's had an offensive rebounding foul and to have two of them. And as much as we spoke about just staying within your framework, you know the players all know that somebody has to step up, somebody has to do a little more, and that's a tough thing to do. I thought Marta Gomez gave us a good lift today. Uh, played the most minutes that she's played in the first half, played 18. But you could see she was exhausted doing that, and that was also due to foul trouble. So, you know, we'll get back to practice. We'll talk about the things. We'll take a look at this film. And the biggest thing I'll look at is were the shots open shots that we just missed? And if that's the case, then we were executing what we wanted to do. If we were taking a number of bad shots, then we have to look back at how our execution was. I, and, and I may be off base here, but it looked like there was a point where you mentioned Marta got tired. It looked like maybe the whole team just kind of maybe got emotionally tired, maybe middle through the fourth quarter. I, I, game. Scott, I think that's a great uh, analysis of what we you saw. I thought that emotionally, you know this team wants to continue to do well, uh, not only for themselves, but for the fan base, for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think that creates a great deal of emotion. Mm -hmm. And so when you start taking a look at and I'll, in reference to that, you go one for five from the free throw line at home. Uh, that tells me that our focus isn't where it should be. Mm -hmm. And that's just because you're probably trying to play too hard. Uh, mentally, you have to be able to calm down and to be able to do things. So uh, the one for five uh, is on us because there is 
no length defensively at the free throw line. And so uh, that is always a telltale sign for me, as well as, you know, the number of turnovers that we had. And uh, to have 13 turnovers, uh, we have to take better care of the basketball. And it was the same issue in the fourth quarter mm -hmm. at Colorado State. We had six turnovers and only eight field goal attempts. And I think, once again, everybody wants to help out. Uh, it's just difficult because you haven't been in that position before. Thanks, finally. I, I, you know, I talked with Haley and, and Mart about this, too. Just, just having a couple days off now, is, is that probably the best thing for this? Yeah, it, it, it really is. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we can go back into the gym and, and start doing things. But uh, I think emotionally, they need to gather themselves. And with the way the schedule lays out, we'll play Saturday and then we flip right back around and we play Tuesday and Friday. So we play three games in seven days. And by playing three games in seven days, there's no days off. So by rule, we need to take two days off the week before. And so that's what we're going to do. But it probably comes the bye comes at a very good time for everybody just to kind of get away from it a bit because there is so much emotion. And you even saw when Liv went to the microphone tonight, the place just erupted. And I think uh, all our fans emotionally feel for Liv too. Well, hey, I'll start with you. I mean, it's 29-19 it's early third quarter. I guess from your vantage point, was it what they did on defense, what you guys did on offense, a combination? What kind of happened to the offense there? Oh, uh, the offense was not there. <laughs> um, we were we stood a lot. Um, offensive rebounds, myself included. I can think back to so many times when I wasn't focused enough to go get rebounds, um, and we needed those definitely, and we needed to move. Um, their defense definitely, their off or their their zone defense mm -hmm. was hard um, to run a motion against. Try to move, try to find the open areas, um, and you can if you move, but. But we didn't, um, and so, and then we also let down on defense. I think in the third quarter we were, we were weak, and and that doesn't ever help any offense. So right, Martin, for you, is that is that a hard defense to try to find open shots, especially on the perimeter against that zone that they play? Yeah, when we run motion against uh, zone, it's kind of difficult to find the open areas, and I don't know. We just yeah, as Haley said, we just stood a lot, and we watched people just with the ball waiting for something to happen and we just needed to move and find open areas and take the shots that we actually took good shots but they, mm -hmm. they didn't fall in. So. Mm -hmm. I guess defensively, Haley, you mentioned defense, kind of, but they did mm -hmm. hit those three threes like right mm -hmm. in a row. That seemed yeah. to really kind of get them yeah. rolling. Yeah, definitely. That's a huge thing. Um, good for them. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible for yeah. us. Um, and there were, there were a few things that we talked about in the huddle, just were we in the right place? Um, you know, it's hard when you're in the game to know, um, but we'll watch film and we'll find out and then uh, just get better. And mm -hmm. we have to be we have to be more intense in the next games. So I guess for both of you guys, how, I guess, after this, just the emotion of the last three days, mm -hmm. how nice it will be to have a week off just to maybe even just get away from basketball for a couple days. Yeah, I think, I think we just needed to just relax a little bit and think about everything, focus on school a little bit more now. <laughs> and. Because then we have two weeks without school almost. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just settle down and just think about getting better and just yeah, think about every game. Yeah, some time away, time to, to think about it. Um, also some time to recover, I think, mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. um, but, but you know, we don't want to forget about it because we still have the end of season. So right. um, I'm sure we'll do some easy shooting, something like that. But it'll is be it, nice. Is it almost better to be, like you mentioned mentally, is it almost like you need a mental recharge, like a reset button. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I would say so, especially after for Liv. I mean, that's, yeah. that stinks. Right. And it stinks for the team, stinks for Liv. Um, but we can't let that stop us because you'll go nowhere if you do that. So um, we're capable. We saw in the first half that we're capable of playing. Um, we just have to put together a full game. Mm. So.